What's up everybody, I'm back, and this is still whack, and I'm trying to catch the dang legendary. I'm gonna try to catch it right now. Hopefully I can catch it before too long passes. If it's a real pain, I'll just skip to when I catch it. How- he's at like one health, how's he not gonna get in the Ultra Ball? Just get in the Ultra Ball and stay in the Ultra Ball so I can continue on my merry way, please. <gasps> there it is! Yes! Yes! Finally! Finally! Oh man, I started. <laughs> they they make the best viruses around. Yeah, good viruses. What? But there it is. I finally caught him. This old Ultiris was an ultimate pain in the ass. Ultra ass. Yay! Now I've caught both the legendaries, and I shall save. So now I know. Now I wonder what's going to happen. T play time: twelve hours. Twelve hours of whack. Could you imagine if somebody didn't take breaks and they just played this game for 12 hours straight? Am I healed? How, okay, now how do I get them on my team? That's the next question. Is there a PC or something? I caught them. It will lead you to Beneath the Core. Legendary Pokemon wait there. I went to Beneath the Core and I caught them. Do I just leave now? What? What do I do now? Oh, man. I, have, I, I made a terrible decision. Now I just have to sit here and listen to these awful sounds again. Ugh, come on, man. Okay, so there's nothing else going on beneath the core? Like, I can't interact with this PC? Or, like, there's nowhere I can walk? Oh, I can walk on this. Huh. Well, that's weird. But there's nothing else going on in here? There's no other people I can talk to? Nothing else going on? Hmm. I did everything, didn't I? There wasn't- there was nothing going on in here? Oh yeah, this is where I fought... them. Didn't, uh... what did, uh... What did Zadolf say? Did he say for me to meet him somewhere? Hmm. Maybe on the way out, I'll see them? Hello! Oh, here we go. Ring, ring. Anne. It's me. They got me. I tried to fight back, but they got me. I'm in their purification camp. Uh oh. I'm gonna have to concentrate. They go, they have us all under watch. I managed to hide, but they're definitely going to find me. You have to come. They've burned a few people alive and- Oh, Jesus. So they're saving us from one big sacrifice that will cleanse the earth of all- Oh, no! Anne! No! Oh, it's near far off town. You shouldn't be able to miss it. Here they come. Oh, Jesus. What was that sound? Anne! I'll save you, baby! I'm coming for you, my love. But first, let me, uh... Let me go on my PC real quick. Okay. Um... Solar is a real piece of shit, honestly. Um... Bookly, you're a piece of shit, too. Woobat, you're alright. Because you fly. And I'm definitely gonna want to fly. But Bookly and Solar, you can hit the hay, honestly. And, um... Where art thou? Yeah, here we go. Cyber Dragon and Virus Psychic. Yeah! Get them on my team. Come here, question mark number one and question mark number two. Their sprites are question marks, but their strength is unquestionable. I am gonna use these guys. Use these guys. To kick some ass. Let's see. Low attack, but really high special attack, especially. What are these stats? These guys are crazy. So he's neutral. Interesting. He's got, huh? Wow, they both have like awful spe uh, physical attack, but special through the roof. And let's see, Fever is really good. Psych is good. Viral Overdrive is really good. Nasty Plot was really good with him. Jeez. Oh man, Data Absorb. Interesting. Wall of Code. That was an annoying move. Dragon Pulse. Digital Overdrive. Oh man, I am gonna kick some ass today. I'll tell you what. I got John Cena, I got a boat, I got some computer cyber Pokemon. And I've got my uh, Eldcraftian Nightmare. Right on, okay, all right. So now I needed to find the, the camp next near far off town. So if this map was, God, it's so hard to read the map though. Where is far off town? Uh, was that near the beginning? I remember there was a town to the right of something, right? Whack Town, Miam. 
Seaside, Gourmet, Ankh, Side, Latex, Far Off. Oh, Far Off Town is where Zadoff's from. He was, uh, this is where I got f the first fly. What's with this music? Did it change? Or was it always like this in Far Off Town? They said I can't miss it. Uh... Well, here I am at Far Off Town. Maybe I should talk to this lady, see what she has to say. Excuse me, sir, have you seen a large amount of prisoners? Thank you. Ah, uh, I didn't do anything. What's it? Oh, is this it? This is definitely really sketchy. Oh. Um, I kind of want to lead with Ulteris, just because he's cool. Maybe I could give him an item, too. Uh, I could give them... Let's see, choice specs. Oh, that'd be really interesting to put on him. Um, so evolves, EXP share, stuff. I could just give him stuff. I'll give him leftovers. Cool. And what should I give to my other dude? I could give him a rocky helmet. I could give him choice scarf. I could give him an expert belt. I don't really know much about super effective. I can give him a King's Rock, whatever. Whatever, you know. John Cena doesn't have an item, so I shall give him a black belt to boost his fighting moves. Alrighty. We're ready to go kick some ass and save save our prisoners. Well, they're not my prisoners. Soliosis site? Lunitonite? Okay, sun and moon. Pokemon sun and moon very much. Purification camp. Alright, I'm gonna save again. Here I am. This music doesn't sound very purification camp-esque, though. Is this... God, this looks awful. The, the, the... Like, you can see the end of the map there on the right. Very nice. The, uh, the way the dirt just ends, you know? Is this really... The camp? It's just a big building. Oh, here we go. I can just I can just run around it. Is this the way in? Oh, well, I kind of want to talk to the guards, but I also need to break in and save my friends. I knew Zood come here, you little brat. I'll take you out right here and now. Prepare yourself. All right. If you think you can take me, whoa! This is her. I remember her. I remember her distinctly because of her big hat <laughs> um so should i just psychic him or should i nasty plot for one turn and then take him out with like viral overdrive or i could just go for two fevers Volteris does a shit ton of damage so we'll see yeah look uh oh no he knows dark pulse zoo have got to be kidding me that's a little uh little joke a little jokey poo all right um, dead. All right, Ultiris, you've done a good job, but I'm gonna have to pull you out this turn. Physium. That must be a nuclear Pokemon. I don't know what's. I don't remember what's good against nuclear. I know that Chaos is good against everything though, so Eldcraftian ought to be a good choice. Eldcraftian, you cannot go wrong. Physium. He looks. Just pretty close to the legendary I didn't catch. But never mind. The legendary I didn't catch had like a big reactor on his back or something. I don't know. All these nuclear Pokemon are starting to look the same to me. All these whack Pokemon in general are starting to get forgettable. Oh, John Splina's time to shine. You trying to throw out a Steelix on me, son? Watch it be Mega. Oh, it was Mega last time, wasn't it? Is that what she did? Was that her was that her shtick? Yeah, here it is. Ooh. Yeah, and I, I distinctly remember it having a, her having a Mega Steelix, and then pointing out those yellow pixels in the top right that should have been removed from the sprite, but hey. We're not perfect, we're all human. I'm a human. Uh, Weezing. Uh, I'm gonna take him out with Eldcrafting, I think. I'm gonna take a sip of my drink. Very nice, very nice. Yeah, this'll be easy. It's weird how her distinct, like, Pokemon, her last two Pokemon, her strongest Pokemon, are just Steelix and Weezing. 
Maybe they weren't her strongest. Maybe she just sent them out last and she had something stronger. Verdammit! What does that mean? Im impossible. Zu beat me again. What? Her accent is all over the place. It's just... I need to warn the boss. Okay. Warn him then. See if I care. Oh, listen to this. <laughs> what is that? Is that a table? Tenableris. The music is like a downgraded version of the already not very good default RPG Maker music. Like, if you make a Pokemon game and you don't set any battle music, that's the music that it defaults to, what we just heard. Except, this was like a modified version of the default. So it sounded even worse than normal, if you can believe that. I can. Whoa, you hear that? That was like a gunshot in the game. I didn't hear any gunshots IRL. Not today, at least. All right. Fuck. Just let me out of this cave of tables and gas chambers. This Pokemon is just literally called Gas Chamber. That's really strange to me. You know, Team Rocket had Pokemon, but they never had Pokemon with their logo on their head. That is the Pokemon. That is the Whack logo. It's like, are, is Team Whack making their own Pokemon or something? Also, I just went through. Let me put this guy up here. I just went through a cave that took me in the top right. I went through that and it took me down here. It didn't take me up or down a floor or outside. Whoop. Full restore. It just warped me over a little. So that's cool. But not really. Hey, it's the nuclear creeper. New creep. I kind of like new creep. I like the alternating colors on its neck and how it's like, uh, kind of like spiked or like it's got like little like parts coming off of it. I like that. Of all the fake mon and whack mon, I think I'll call them whack mon. New, new creeps. New creeps on the higher end. Gas chamber is probably on the lower end. Like, come on. It raises more questions. Like, what the fuck is this? That's a pretty standard question. That's the front entrance, so I don't want to go over there. Look how boring this is. Like, when in terms of area design, like, look at this. Just one long hallway with no, like, disting like distinguishable features. Earthquake! Fuck yes. I love me some Earthquake. Earthquake's one of my favorite TMs. And then once they introduced the feature where you can use them and they don't go away, it was like, oh, I'm teaching everyone ever. Or all None of my Pokemon can learn Earthquake, though. If John, John Cena should be able to learn Earthquake. He's got the moves. Intruder! Re Intruder! Well, what are you gonna do to stop me? I'm gonna have my helicopter, baby. I'm just gonna throw out that trash. This weak sauce. Hmm. This is a trainer with one Pokemon. And typically trainers with one Pokemon have a Pokemon that's a higher level than, say, a trainer with two Pokemon. Right? But his Pokemon were the exact same level as the wild Pokemon. Like, why? What's this music? Is this, like, propaganda music? Can I go to the right? I can! Check it out, I can just go down here. Can I do this? Oh, wait. Let's see if I can exploit it. Can I go to the left? No. <laughs> I can go around this guy, though. Uh, I kind of want to battle him, but I kind of don't. I just want to... I just want to save them. I want to save the Juvite people. What is this music, though, dude? Only the whack will live. There's... The <laughs> These people are pretty damn whack. I'll give them that. Grunch, no. I thought... Uh, I don't like this one. I don't like Smobile. This one's definitely on the lower end of Whackmon. I don't like that long-ass tongue. I don't like the cloud around it. I think it's supposed to be like a smoker. From Left 4 Dead, kinda. Sus sausage I think they were trying to say sausage, but... They failed at saying even that. So, one thing I actually do appreciate, I just want to briefly, briefly mention it. These little wooden things were outside the last door. So the only way that I could realize that this was a door was by acknowledging, so like, if they didn't put these here, I'd be lost as shit, so thank you, thank you, you two, you two wooden poles. Very nice. 
can just walk past everyone. It's easy! Oh, see, this person I cannot walk past. I wish all these Juvites would just pass out and die. Well, you could probably just kill him. You don't have to take him prisoner. Oh no, it's a gas... See, look, this one's level 60. I was fighting wild gas chambers that were level 64. Out in the wild, or I guess in a cave. And I also was fighting a table. I guess I didn't really fight it, I ran away. <laughs> it was a scary table, I would run away from that shit. Most of the Pokemon, most Pokemon in general I would run away from. Like if you saw Snorlax IRL, you'd probably run away from it, right? I mean, I guess unless you were in the know and you knew that it was a Pokemon and you had Pokeballs. But in general, like, I'd run away from this shit. You see a wild gas chamber, you run into a wild, like, you're walking down the street and you see this shit. I'm run. I'm fucking running. Not John Cena though. I'd give him a hug. And I'd probably run from him too. He'd probably float after me. This weird floaty, floaty body. Neonazite. Great. Great. I can't wait to mega evolve my Neonazi. Our might is unfathomable. You may think you can win, but we will crush you under an iron boot. Das boot. Oh yeah, that's food. Grunt Ohm. Another gas chamber. How original. What? Wow. What a. I've never seen somebody use this Pokemon before. They're landing on a little too thick, I gotta say. Like, it's one thing if they're Nazis, which they are. It's another thing if they want to eliminate all the Juvites, which they do. It's another thing if all their Pokemon are gas chambers. It's like. Come on, man. Like, I, I understood what it was supposed to be before the gas chambers. Before they were throwing out Pokemon's literally named Neo-Nazi. I guess these things aren't really Neo, really. They're, they're, they're just more like regular. It was I who was crushed. Yeah. That's what I'm saying, baby. The Juvites. I shall save you. My friends. Uh, <laughs> the trainer placement's pretty bad. It's, uh, at this point, it's like an obstacle course, like... Oh, like, can I dodge them? We will rule the world as the one true... Okay. If you say so, bud. I'm here to prove you wrong. It's kind of bothering me. There is the Neo-Nazi. There it is. It's about time. I haven't run into these in a hot minute. The last one... The last time I saw one was when I battled Zadoff. I feel like the WAC members themselves don't really carry this guy. Well, besides the one I just found, fought. Besides the one I just fought. Ah, uh, fat you and defeated you, Team Wax, sir. All right. Uh, and away we go. What the fuck is this? We'll have to find a key. The door shield shut. You see, it's a miracle that we even—I couldn't even tell there was a door. What's going on here? Whoa! Oh, come on, man! You gotta be kidding me! Look at all these damn battles. All right. Now the question becomes, which Pokemon do I want to use in these battles? Also, why am I looking through this? I'm trying to find an Aether. Not a Max Aether, just a regular Aether. There we go. I got plenty of them. Alright, now who's gonna back up? I, uh, hmm. I could do John Cena and Eldcraftian. I think I'll do that. John Cena and Eldcraftian will team up, and then my two Cybers will team up. That's the plan. Team! Aren't you cute? Just try and make it past us. Oh, I will try. I will succeed, too. This is really annoying. Like... Whoa. His head is cut off. Very nice. Um, it's just annoying to me that there's just a long stretch of double battles. I mean, in a way, it's kind of like the Nugget Bridge where you just keep going down a single path, fighting a whole bunch of people. But, you know, like, I, I, I complained before when it was just a long hallway of um, Team Whack members, where I was walking from right to left, and I was just fighting them. And I guess the fact that this is double will make it go a little faster. But still, it's like, I don't know. Something about it just bothers me. Extrasensory might not kill Warchon, so that'll do it, and then this'll do that. At least my Pokemon are strong enough to 
make these battles a breeze. I should have close combat at Stoutland on the first turn, not this most recent turn. Aura Sphere was the way to go. I'm, hell, I probably killed, could have killed him with any move, based on how low his health was. Boom. Grunt Cute. What was that guy's name? Or I guess that was her name. You still got a ton more to go. Damn it. You're right. Bow before our might. Before our might, you will bow. I will do no such thing. Your might I will not bow before. Gr Grunt Bow sent out a bravery. Grunt Wob. <laughs> oh, man. It's like the entire time making the game, they didn't know about the um, multiple versions of trainers. I guess, to be fair, this is a decent solution to such a problem. Um, I think I'm going to switch here to Datagon. Because they're definitely going to try to use flying moves on uh, John Cena. Absolutely. Datagon is kind of cool. I'll give him that. I like the uh, like shards of data coming out the back. I'll, I'll admit that much. Superpower? Interesting. Why would they use superpower against John Cena? Do they not know any flying moves? Huh. Alright, I can probably just get away with extra sensory, but whatever, I'll rip strike him. Just to guarantee it. Data absorb. He's gonna be dead before the data absorb even hits, though. Boom! It's because Eldcraftian is fucking overpowered. <laughs> You, over, you underestimate his strength. He has the higher ground. Dot, dot, dot. Dot, dot, dot. Ah, that's right. They're all of a sudden real quiet now. Don't talk to me. Don't talk to me. Hmm. Should I do a little bit of a heal? Just a little healing. Where are my super potions? Am I blind? I am not blind. Here they are. You know, just top top my boys off a little bit. There we go. A nice little bit of healing. And a nice little bit of saving. You never you never know when this game's gonna crash, so. Consistent saves. Be proud of who you are. Unless you're a Juvite. Be proud of who you are is a very strange thing for a Nazi to say as their battle cry. Okay. Runch crud. Why on death? Hmm. I like the Pokemon on the right better than the one on the left. Will Lost. That that said, I don't like either of them. <laughs> but you know, lesser of two evils here. Um, what's what? Oh, the Relic Song hits both of them. Very nice. John Cena's value has just risen in double battles. Cause I don't know what it's. I'm thinking this guy's like Plasma something, and it puts him to sleep again. Relic Song does not fail. It never... I haven't been failed by it. Like, it's one of the consistently great moves. Like, I think my number one move, in terms of, like, this playthrough and favoritism and Pokemon Whack, has got to be Rift Strike. But number two might be Relic Song. Just because it seems to always put them to sleep. That said, I probably shouldn't have used Relic Song on that last turn, because I just wasted one. But I still got like eight. No biggie. No biggie. No big deal. Is there an end? Oh, I wish. Just end game. End end my life game. Or end. That'd be nice. Tutterfly. Tutterfly. Have I seen one of these before? Is that like the Tutankhamen? Was it? I don't know what's going on with it. Oh well. I wonder if Raticate is still considered normal type, or if they changed it for whack. I never really got to the bottom of that. But we'll find out right now. When I close combat it in the face. It was not super effective, so Raticate is not normal type. Alright. I, I think fighting is not very effective against poison. But maybe it's just normal. If it's just normal against poison, then it might just be a normal type. Why does this guy have two? Godzillas. This guy... This guy had two Pokemon. 
but his partner only had one. I always thought that was really sloppy when there were some when there were some Pokemon battles, like a double battle, where one of them has three and the other one only has one. You just kill that one and then you turn it into a two v one for the whole battle. I think I've been, I think I was doing that in this playthrough of Pokemon Whack. Grunt come. Grunt come. What a great name. It's disgusting. That's just gross. Ugh. It's almost over. Don't worry. Yeah. <laughs> just let me finish this. I want to be out of here. Yeah. What the hell is this? It's like that ghost one that I fought a couple battles back, but like a non-ghost version of it, but like it's ripped in half and it had bloody finger, long fingers. I don't know. Grunt almost. Yeah, as in you almost stood a chance, but you didn't. You shit. You dummy. You stupid poo poo head. There's only two more after a moi. Ho ho ho. Is this grunt French? Grunt French, I called it! Yes! I'm starting to get into the mind of the creator, you know? I'm starting to understand what what exactly was going on. I love that. I love predicting names and being right. That said, I'm wrong, like, most of the time. Which is why I love it when I'm right. It happens only, like, like 20%, well, probably 10%, if I'm being honest. 10% of the time, I'm right. So I gotta really relish in it. His name was Grunt French, because he said, Ho ho ho. Ho ho, les poissons. Vive les France, it is me. I surrender. Grunt... Grunted tight and quack grunted tight. Come on. What? I've not seen one of the Whoa! I have not seen either of these before. One of them is like a little chainsaw man, and the other one is like the evolution where it turned into like a chainsaw butterfly. That's kind of cool. That said, I'm gonna have to kill them. <laughs> Mama! Chainsaws for arms. I kind of like it. <laughs> I mean, it's it's ridiculous, and I but I kind of like it. That said, die. Since I'm super effective, it must be steel. That'd be kind of cool if it was like steel bug as a uh, as a chainsaw butterfly. That'd be kind of interesting. I don't know if I mean I, I don't think it's a good design, but it's definitely good enough for whack. Chainsaws for arms. Full heal. Who cares? Revive. That's a little better. It's a little better. What's going on in here? This, are those the purification chambers? Or, no, those gotta be the gas chambers. But those are like really small. I thought they were like bigger and fit like multiple people in. Gatchum bite. Oh, mega gas chamber. Great. I shall free you, my friends. What are you looking at? I shall free you. I mean, I guess. The Juvites did do a lot of mean things to me, and they did openly profess that they were going to take over the world, and they, they were in cyberspace, and I did just fight them very recently. That said, just seeing them here in the, uh, seeing them here in the, in the camp, being taken prisoner, it makes me want to help them. Which is weird. It's like a reverse Stockholm Syndrome, but I'm not the prisoner. I'm trying to think of what the right word is. It's like... It's easier to have empathy for the people who are captured. Oh no, beaten by a kid who was 18 to be exact, so they're of legal age. Oh no. <laughs> that was actually really funny. Oh no, I was beaten by a kid who happens to be 18, so they are legal. But oh, oh, oh no, anyway, oh no. You wanna go, kiddo? You're dead, kiddo. I'll have you know I have over 300 confirmed kills and I have a master of uh, Harambe warfare. Whoa, Lunaiton. So that must be an evolution of Lunatone, then. That's kind of interesting. I admire that more than a lot of the other Wackmon. So the fact that there's there's probably going to be an evolution for Solrock that's more emphasized on Sun, and Lunatone more towards the night. That's kind of neat. Or kind of night. Apparently you did. Uh, yeah, I want to go, kiddo. Oh no, beat back kid. Who is? 18. Oh, well, don't repeat it. Thank you. Here, take this. It's dangerous to go alone. Take this. Okay, I'm escaping now. 
Oh, thank you. I suppose I could spear a bit of change. Don't spear it. Just hand it over. If you spear it, it's gonna be ruined. Ugh. Speaking of ruined, this game is ruining me. And uh, if you are watching, hopefully it is not ruining you. But that'll do it for this episode. I'm gonna go die now. And then after I come back to life, I'll see you next time. Alright. Bye, guys.